Listening to reggae, soca, calypso, souk, Ishans, dance hall, and other Caribbean rhythms in Old Providence and Santa Catalina today is not surprising, since these small islands located in the English-speaking Caribbean Sea shares similar customs and cultural traditions with islands like Jamaica, Trinidad, Tobago, Guadalupe, Caymans, and others. Seamen in search of a better life for their families choose to embark on cargo and tourist vessels as an alternative for work. In their journeys between the 70s and late 90s, these sailors visited different Caribbean ports where they found new rhythms that they gradually brought to the island and shared with the community. In the state, no, in um, St. Thomas and then place, we used to go to St. Thomas, so we used to buy Bahamas, we go Nassau, we go Haiti, we go Puerto Rico, and so we bring music. Everywhere we go, we take a, buy music there and bring here, everywhere. Every island we go. We took a Puerto Rico, St. Thomas, St. Martin, all of the place we used to go. One of them came and Jamaica. I had some boy where, where used to work in bands, at San Andres, ship out, and I knew them and they bring music to me. The first person I remember Bring one of these pick up here was a man, Rocky Pena, called Pania. I don't know if any would before, but that way I remember. Pania had a pick up, they had a business out this day, and the ball feeling Picardy, a friend, a player. All these music where you hear playing around, playing around here, these reggae, and these soca music, and these uh, Haitian music, and these Jamaican music, they come from me. I, the first person, bring them from me. I used to come from um, Alcabra. Because I was not hardly playing, so it was sent on Alcaba. Or oh, why I used to go to San Andres every, every end of the month and, and buy um, and go ship in the shop. So when I go, Peps, a man with name Peps, I don't know if you know him, him is who received them for me and I get them for him. And when I know go and they come before I go, he sent it upon Alcaba. For many months, the community awaited the arrival of seamen with new musical hits generating rivalry between the owners of the pickups, seeking musical exclusivity to their followers and fans. Well, Dito was good, you know, <laughs> and Samuelito was good too. But after I have get my pickups, Samuelito basically do, but still yet I was get them down, got them down. You know. I bring my music from outside. Mm. For, for me music, when I bring music, that's the best music ever come in this island. And the best music would ever be in this island whilst I live in. Those days, the music had more work called exclusivity. Because when the man used to get a song, you would have to get it. It's not like now, the music, for me, like you do have no like exclusivity because anyway you go hear the, the music then. Yeah, I used to I, I used to put plaque up and every spider too because I, I know why nobody get my music. I used to put on plenty plaque with, with the native and so. So when they time I go pick up I know that they in there. Soy la calidad con mi música bacana. Acabo con los imitadores y como soy original, la gente me busca. Soy el nativo. Now I used to play for the man. The arrival of the new musical expression awoke in the community interest in Caribbean music and also the rise of uses of sound equipments and pickups, all this brought to the island by the same seaman. You know, but then man used to go away and buy them record and bring. And when you hear them say, Dito get some new record and they try. Sometimes he go around the land in and pick up with the sound, the playing news. I remember when he had the one, he said, um, for loving dear, we say the more we marry uh, and them thing, you know, and they may sound, you know, excellent, strange. So when you want to hear that again, no, anyway, you say, Dito go and play. You go in if you want to hear that. You know? <laughs> the beginning of new locations, such as the opening of new Brahm dances in spaces called casetas, where music was heard generating a new entertainment environment and integration of the Caribbean native community. The community began to recognize ethnic resemblance to the other islands, accepting music as a part of their identity. 
hearing sounds, rhythms and lyrics very consistent with their daily lives. I get music from Cayman's. I get from Cartagena. I get from Panama. I get from Barranquilla. From all parts I get music from. And I can carry you and show you. Not telling you, I can carry you and show you that I have up there three bucks. I got to play for people by dance, I only carry 12 vocals. Because when I play the first one, and when I get back to the last one, I can repeat back the first one. Them, them was where the people like. When I put them on, before I'm done, repeat it! Repeat it all! And I repeat them. Several music, maybe 10, 15 music, that people actually repeat, repeat, repeat. From the, those times, I had like a, a wish. I used to say, I would want to have a, a song I pick up then, you know. But before that, before that, I had a big grabadora with a <laughs> double cassette. So when you used to want to get the music, you used to dog by the radio station. And when they put on the radio, you, know, you press the button, <laughs> record, and then you get it sometime, you cut it off halfway by you, you know, you chop it. You don't get the whole thing. Caribbean music was not only promoted through pickups, but also by local radio stations, which also played a big role in the promotion of these rhythms that little by little, they were required by the community. Also, we have Brother Artemis Hambatan House with a new style here, man. Hey, yo, hey, Bomba Head, right here for 955. Alka, yes, carry on. Opportunity for you, don't know what this is. What is certain is that the arrival of this music genre is a bridge of cultural communication between Providence people and the English-speaking Caribbean. This identified some existing roots that gradually was excluded from the life of the islanders by the lack of communication and contact with these Caribbean regions and our cultural heritage. Undoubtedly, ethnic similarity of the native islander culture of San Andres Providence and Santa Catalina to the Caribbean cultures is evident, not only by the different rhythms that you hear today on the islands, also the language, food, religion, architecture, and many other common identified similarities. We are one people divided by a great sea, the Caribbean.